Precipice Gaming. Today I'll be playing uh, SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I'm playing the PlayStation 2 version of the game. Uh, we'll be emulating it today just in order to get uh, some better graphics quality, but I do own a physical version of the game. And joining me today is Joseph. How's it going? I've never played this game, but I've watched lots of SpongeBob in my time, so I'm interested to see how it goes. Uh, and yeah, with that, uh, we'll we'll hop right into the game here. Uh, it's a new game. That reminds me of old graphics. <laughs> What a silly dream. Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Krab. Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day. <sighs> now I wonder where Gary is. I should probably walk him before I go to work. All right, that drops us here into SpongeBob's room. His floating pants. Uh, yes, and yeah, so probably one of the first things I should do is go ahead and uh, pick up the pants. They basically act as your oh. health points, uh, so you oh. can see that, yeah, we've got five up there, and uh, so yeah, uh, I can walk around. The The controls are a little bit limited because this game is, you know, so old, like the D-pad and the left analog stick um, basically just perform the same functions. Not, they're not different. Also, there's no camera control while you're inside buildings, so I'm moving the right analog stick right now, but yeah, getting nothing. <laughs> uh, you can jump, that's that's fine. Um, you can jump really high if you press the R1 button, and then you hit uh, X to jump, that's the normal jump button. Uh, if you hit R1 while you're walking in a direction, you're supposed to be able to, yeah, there we go. Oh. Get, get into a like sprint mode, but it's rolling. It's this, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, that noise. <laughs> and then the the square button will give you your your action. Um, usually that is a karate chop from SpongeBob here, uh, but uh, as you'll see later, uh, we can we can do slightly different things with the action button depending on. Um, where we're at in the game and what we're doing. So, yeah. Uh, we can get up here, we can, you know, if I was better at platforming. Oh, oh, and there's a, like, glide oh. if you, if you, uh, hold the X button while you're falling. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can get up here yeah. for no reason whatsoever. Oh. I, I didn't do it. Oh, well. Uh, you can get the bird to freak out. You can, uh, get this, uh, the alarm clock to go off. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's, instead right. of fooling around in here, let's, let's go ahead and play the game. come out here, yeah. Uh, there's a TV down here. You hit that, and, uh, it's got a fun line. Never fear, Mermaid Man, for you are not alone in your fight against injustice. <laughs> uh... We got Gary over here, so I think we should go say good morning to him. Good morning, Gary. Oh, yes, good morning. Tell you about my crazy <laughs> dream where the Krusty Krab was closed and meow. <gasps> oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow, 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 meow. That something really bad is gonna happen? Uh huh. Meow, If you ever hear Gary say that much in a row oh, in the actual show. <laughs> Well, I know just the thing to tell I don't you. think so. I'll yeah. That I can remember, at least. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, let's go check out the uh, the kitchen here, which is back in this direction. Do you think your little friend Gary would like to play some fetch? Fetching stick and press the action button to pick it up. We're there. So you can carry the stick to Gary <laughs> and delight him. Sounds like when they're describing the crust, uh, the Krabby Patty, Krabby Patty. Oh yes, I think it is that that same narrator. You you might have noticed a, a weird bug too there, where what was being said didn't quite line up with uh, what was on the subtitles. Uh, 
that is a, a bug that's not just in the emulator, but if I'm remembering correctly, actually shows up sometimes too in real hardware. Um, although it seems to be less common on real hardware, it mostly seems to happen when you're overlapping um, the, the sound clips and one hasn't finished before the next one's supposed to start playing. But anyway, yeah, uh, we've got a stick. We well, might as well pick it up. You didn't think oh. I was gonna leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now come on, boy! Go long! Longer! Longer! What did you dig up outside, oh. boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, or Elsie. I wonder what that means. <laughs> well, maybe we should see what's Open inside. It. Oh, don't be such a soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little peek? Just what I always wanted. A bottle. little bottle. <laughs> think of all the fun we can have cleaning it. Here we go. Arr, who summons me from my endless slumber? I'll have your eyes for appetizers and your insides for dessert. For I am the Flying Dutchman. Just hop right back into your bottle and we'll bury you back out in the yard so you can... Silence! I'll not return to that prison ever again. And what's this? You've gotten into my treasure, have you? Ooh, I hate it when someone messes with my doubloons. Now, what shall I do with ye lowly knaves who dared stir me up? Let me consult my rule book on ghostly doings. Hmm. In the case of accidental discovery and wanton disruption of my booty, the perpetrators must serve for an eternity on my bloody crew. Very specific clause. Well, I, I forgot he had that book. <laughs> Just specific in the show, too. So, I gotta take you with me. Are you ready? Hold on there, Mr. Dutchman, sir. Uh, technically speaking, it was not me who found you. Uh, Gary's the one who dug you up. Wow, from one of the bus like that. <laughs> this little varmint looks like he can do ten times the work. If he can survive my hypnotic spell. <laughs> oh, no, not Gary. That's not what I meant. Take me, 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 not him, him, him. Too late. My decision is made. Now I've got to check on the treasure stashed back on my ship to make sure no one's been spreading that around. But I'll return shortly to pick up my new crewmate. Say your farewells before I return. Don't worry, Gary. I'll think of something. And it's your fault. Type of something <laughs> that will save you. You can bet on it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So that that is basically the setup for the whole game, right there. Gary's gonna go back into SpongeBob's room, and uh, we can go outside and check out the old bikini bottom there, huh? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna save before we go out there, um, if I remember now, because this game likes to crash a lot. <laughs> I was just about to ask that. Yeah, uh, it, is, it is old and buggy, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're loading in out here in the little outside, and here we go. Now I have ceramic control, so this oh, is nice. me moving. Ooh. Scooter's house, you got Who is that over there? there. Yeah. Let's stop right across the street from him. Well, lots of coins around his house. Yeah. Yep. Looks like golden jellyfish. And that is just a golden jellyfish. It's oh. over there to chase me, basically. Uh, the camera controls are all backwards compared to what we're now used to, so that's great. Um, yeah, I, let's just uh, kind of take a look around what's what's out here. We've got uh, Squidward's Kelp Garden, which I think is actually featured in an episode. I don't think it's out back of his house, but there's certainly no Scarecrow. Well, that's not very uh -oh. scary. How does Squidward expect to protect his garden with that? True, it is not scary when it sits still, but it's really something when it moves. 
Do you see that little fan nearby? You can blow on the fan with your reef blower to activate the mechanism. Uh, yeah, what the narrator said there was true. However, we do not have the reef blower unlocked yet, so uh -oh. we will not be able to do that right now. These things will make you jump, which is cool. Makes sense. Oh, there's life up there. Yes, uh, but you max out at five, so there's not much point in oh. getting it right now. Mr. Jellyfish. Something will hurt you if he catches you. <laughs> yes. He would uh, he would take one of my pants. My square okay. pants, Joseph. <laughs> uh, up here we've, we've got uh, yeah, Patrick's house with some interesting creases on it here, but yeah. it's still there. Uh, looks like Patrick's had a number done on his uh, old antenna there. We'll come up here and take a look at the top of old Squiddy's house. You know, bro. Yeah. And then you see that thing over there, probably, I'm guessing. Good. Yeah, so the narrator is going to jump in, if I remember right, when I get up here at some point to talk about double jumping. But we'll talk about the, uh, the I really need oh. to reach that tiles in a second. But I don't think I have it in me. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. Press jump, then you can glide a bit farther if you press jump again before you land. Yep. So that's basically your version of a double jump. And then, yeah, so the letter tiles. You see the letter tile thing at the bottom there, probably. Right yeah, you can Yeah, so in order to complete a world, basically, you have to get all of the letter tiles. Oh. Huh. That's, that's how this works. <laughs> sitting around like that. It's as if someone wanted me to find it. That is no ordinary letter tile. It is a clue. Gather all the letters that spell your name, and you will have enough clues to find a hidden treasure. Uh, yeah. We'll find a hidden treasure, then. So, yeah, there's, there's lots of different, uh, ways to get the letter tiles. Um, some of them involve getting enough doubloons, some of them involve capturing jellyfish, uh, some are just sitting around, and some involve quests. Like Patrick should give us? Yep. I fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. I can't get up there to fix the thingy and I'm missing all my favorite shows. No! Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. A little off. I wish there was something I could do to help. Weird dialogue is weird. Please. You can get up there if you try. Hold the duck button, then press the jump button to reach high places. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? I'm missing my shows. A real buddy would get up there and make my life complete again. Yeah, a real buddy would. Risk his life to get up on my roof and fall off again. Problem. There's a big thingy on your thingy, and it's all been out of shape. But it looks too big for me to move. You don't need to move it when you can simply break it apart. Face the container and press the action button to carrot it, chop it. Okay, yep, we kind of covered this already, but there we go. One mm. back in shape uh, antenna. antenna. <laughs> Whoa! My TV is fixed! You saved me from thinking, Spongebob! <laughs> Save your gratitude, my jolly pink friend. It's all in a day's work for a sponge such as I. But, uh, maybe you can help me with a problem that I'm having. You see, it all started this morning, when Gary and I were playing fetch. Oh, on second thought, who wants to stay at home and watch TV on a day like this? I'm going downtown to see the new construction site. Maybe you could meet me there, and we'll play Mermaid Man and Vertical Boy! Last one, there's a nematode! So cool, Patrick completely uh, ignores yeah. what Spongebob is saying. He <laughs> knows problem. But he did well, leave he us did a letter tile, yeah. So, we'll pick that up. Oddly, it comes quite a bit later. You notice Patrick actually stays in existence until he goes off the, the map over here. There he goes. <laughs> um, we can actually follow him over there without going through a loading cycle because these zones are sort uh -oh. of tied together. But yeah. Oh, there's the hooks. 
Oh uh, yes, from the hooky episode. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, let's uh, slam the button near the crusty crab. Uh, oh, circle! I forgot that it, circle even does anything, but yeah, that's how you slam. Oh, when you're in the air. And that'll give us a changing tent, which you might have seen over in the other zone already, but if we come in here, we have all of the different costumes that I was kind of alluding to earlier, where each one has its own different sort of action oh. capability. We don't have Mermaid Man yet, and we don't have the Reef Blower yet, but we might have the fishing gear. Indeed. Hi. Usually there's a different... Uh, like, theme for this, but I've turned the songs off for in case uh, Nick has decided to copyright all the songs from this, and I, I'm probably playing some generic Hawaiian music or something in the background instead. <laughs> oh, yep, there. Uh, another letter tile. That one probably triggered by collecting doubloons. So, it's probably not much reason to collect the rest of the balloons at this point, but they're around, so... Oh, Tiger again. Sauce. Clams in the trash again. Looks like Mr. Krabs will have to call the exterminator. Do not be so hasty, for these clams are just a part of the cycle of life. When a clam shuts its mouth, you can jump onto it and launch very high. Sometimes, valuable things are hidden in high places. Yeah, so these clams kind of work like the, uh the, I don't know what you would call them, seafloor vents that we uh, yeah. were jumping off of earlier. And yeah, they just shoot you up like that. But then, you can probably also see a letter tile sitting right over there. That's the crab sign. do we have for letter tiles? There's one sitting just up here. Nice. Get in there. Or mm -hmm. left. Uh, I believe one of the objectives is for collecting jellyfish, so we might as well start doing that. Notice that the, the action feature there was adjusted. <laughs> it disappeared, too. With some jelly curry patties. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's a tile no. up there. But, uh, let's, uh, yeah, there probably is a tile oh, up Mr. here. Krabs but... warned me about playing hooky, but they look so fun! Maybe just one quick ride while no one's looking. Ah, you little troublemaker. Those hooks can be very dangerous, but I promise not to tell if you use your fishing net to hang from them. That's the only safe way to do it. Alright, so yeah, we'll just jump and then use the action button to hook on. And we can go up. <laughs> oh. There we go. Uh, the camera is stuck on that line, but oh well. <laughs> There's yeah. a letter tile. Three left. I forget what's up over here. More just some more doubloons, yeah. I didn't know that you could jump around like that. But, good enough. <laughs> Worked out. Yeah. Uh, let's go check out the Krusty Krab next, I suppose, huh? We can go yeah. inside. And we'll see one of our first uh, instances of a, a new enemy. Oh. Enemy? Some, yeah, there's some rough folks walking around the Krusty Krab. Boys. Think. No. Wait, do your fishing net hurt them or no? Like yeah. Up? At three hits. Oh. Oh, and he had a uh, letter tile. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, three hits and he's done. Oh, I didn't know that the cash register made a sound. That's new. Cool. Uh, oh, you can go back here. What? It's the same area that we started in, obviously, yeah. but. A I forgot purple... that you can even go back here. Oh, no. It does. It's a purple ingredient. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. Um, before, we couldn't jump or really do anything in here, but now we can, so... 
it's a little bit more interesting. That said, the camera is still fixed while we're in here. And, uh, you break that, uh, we can't that go barrel? Any further back than this. Uh, this barrel. I don't think so. I think that's a different variety of barrel. Whatever that means. It's not the same size, though. But these barrels. Uh, oh, maybe you just can't break barrels with the net? That's also a potential thing. Oh, maybe. Uh, here's the, the condiment island. Island. Yeah. Oh, there is some other tile. Yeah. Oh. Can the jellyfish search you? Yes. Uh, they'll they'll sting you if you touch them. There we go. There we go. Now we need one more. One more. Yep. So there's another feature of the game where if you hit the L1 button. You will sneak. And these green jellyfish are, I think, basically the only thing that actually uses that as a feature. But uh, if you walk up to them too quickly, they will float away. But yeah, as it's saying there, hold L1 and then walk up and you will... Ah, I walked too close because I couldn't tell how deep I was into the screen. Let's try oh, that again. Away, though. It just goes up. Yeah. There we go. And... Whoa. Did that sign just say free? What? Did that sign just say free? No charge. Free salad bar. That's not what Mr. Krabs would do. <laughs> uh, what do those other things on there say? I can't even tell. Zip. Mill? Oh, uh, and zip uh, is in zero. Yeah. Oh, this will be easier from the other side, and I think we've got everything that we need from in here, so we'll just go ahead and go back out. And if there's any more jellyfish, we'll go around and catch them. You need at least one, you need exactly one more to bloom, to have 100 even. Do I? Uh, yep. Yeah. You have 99 right now. <laughs> Cannot get any more doubloons ever. Must stay oh. exactly at a hundred. Right, sneak up on this green guy here. And there we go. Oh. We found all the letter tiles, and now it's going to load us into the tile thing where. Uh, tile thing? Yeah, it's a tile mover game. It is the introduction that I had to the oh. bring it around town uh, uh, phrase. So yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can uh, figure I'm this out. so bad at these. Are you? They're not too bad in this game, as long yeah, as this you. This looks pretty okay. You have to kind of suss them out ahead of time and make sure that you don't start going down this really bad rabbit hole. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, once you have it solved, then SpongeBob will do that. <laughs> yep. This is the bubble. What is blowing bubbles? <laughs> trying to teach Squidward to blow bubbles. Okay. Yeah. And then we go into the final stage of what a world consists of, which is the treasure hunt. And we get the uh, the treasure hunt SpongeBob here, whose uh, costume you can only get when you're in the treasure hunt mode. But he he hops on this stick for some reason. Look at this, a bus stop. And I've accidentally triggered the bus stop uh, dialogue, but oh well. The amazing places outside Bikini Bottom, and all the fun things I could do. Your wish can easily come true. Oh no! All you need is the right ticket for this bus stop. When you have the correct ticket, jump onto the bench and the bus will stop for you. And that is I basically it. Yeah. When I think of a bus stop in SpongeBob, I think of when he got trapped after they went to Gloveland. Oh yeah, way down in the abyss or whatever they called that area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they had all the guys who had to talk like this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, 
So, the divining rod, basically, you hit the action button, uh, and then you get a, a signal from it, so the, the strength is indicated by what's happening at the tip, and if this emulator supported rumble, maybe it doesn't, I just don't have it turned on, but, and the actual hardware too, it will uh, rumble the controller with intensities based on uh, whether you're facing the right direction or not. But it looks like we're over this way, there's the treasure, so we'll, oh. we'll approach it, we'll get to see what the treasure is, it's always something gross, and then the kids say, ew, and then it triggers a plot point in the game. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and trigger that now. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> yep. The time has come for you to join my ghostly crew. No use fighting it. Your fate's been decided. Now looky here what I got for you. That's right. Watch the little sticky. <laughs> Gary, where are you, boy? Gary! We'll save him. Why did you take Gary, Mr. Dutchman? Why? 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 No one makes my best friends into pirates, and I mean no one! Alright, so yeah, there's the plot point uh, gone through, and I think that's where we will call it in this episode, and we'll pick back up in the next one, uh, going through the, the next world in uh, the sequence for the game here. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>